Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I am very excited to introduce the lovely Lana with you. Hello again, Lana, thanks for joining us today. Hello, thank you. So Lana is one of our very special twin mums. The reason I have been so very excited to share this really beautiful journey with you is because Lana is taking part in what we consider quite new and it is the beautiful breastfeeding program. Lana I'm sure you would agree that um, having twins after your three babies was um, quite a surprise, a pleasant surprise wouldn't you say? Definitely yes definitely and that yes. big <laughs> smile says it all. So, so <laughs> let's let's go straight to um, when you found out you were expecting twins. So I'm guessing that was around the 12 week mark. Am I right? Maybe a bit sooner. You know what? Um, I actually didn't find out until I was, I think, 24 weeks. I remember you telling me this, actually. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sure our, all our viewers are going. Oh my so when yeah. you did find finally find out that you were double expecting, <laughs> Um, and you did decide that you were going to breastfeed. Did you find that people were a bit like, mm, I'm not sure that's possible, or were they very supportive? What was your experience there? I think um, just in general, I think we were just all just still shocked that there was two of them. And, um, you know, it's, 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 um, I've been breastfeeding all of my other children as well. And so I have an amazing supportive family and they were able to you know, be encouraging to what I, to my lead kind of, and to my husband and I's, you know, decisions. So that was really awesome. I didn't have anyone, you know, naysaying or, or, you know, I know a lot of women go through that. Um, but no, I had very supportive parents and friends and family. So. Yeah, that's um, amazing. It's very important. Like you say, you take the lead, you are the, the main person that should be guiding the situation. Right. So you, you have a huge family supportive network. You've already have experienced breastfeeding babies beforehand. So tell me what made you start looking for breastfeeding education and why did you choose the Thompson method? So um, it kind of all starts with my first. Um, when she was born, um, I had a home birth with her. I had, I had a um, kind of a bleed. Um, I bled about a liter, a liter and a half. And so my milk supply kind of had to go, um, kind of dipped lower probably than it should have uh, initially um, when I was beginning to make milk. So um, I feel like I was kind of at an uphill battle with her and then her latch was terrible. Um, lots and lots of pain. I don't think I stopped having pain until like 11 weeks or something crazy like that. And the pain was so bad, it was just excruciating. And that was my first you know, attempt at breastfeeding. I felt like a failure. Um, I had multiple women trying to help me, um, different lactation consultants, nothing worked. Um, I just felt like it was over complicating uh, just the way we breastfeed. I mean, it was forcing and, you know, I'm like, this should be natural. This should be, you know, easy. My baby should know how to do this. But, you know, she barely opened her mouth when she would nurse. She had a tongue tie. Um, you know, whether or not that played a role, I don't know. Um, but we, we struggled breastfeeding for sure. Um, but you know, then I ended up breastfeeding her until she was like three and a half. So that was amazing for me to, you know, be able to, for us together to kind of go through that and overcome it. And I actually went through the same exact thing almost with my second born, my girl. Um, and she, she struggled the same way. Um, I didn't have a bleed after her. So at least I had some, a great supply, um, to begin with. And, um, but yeah, I, I still struggled a lot with her and, uh, my, my midwife, my amazing midwife moved, um, to Dallas and I, um, I had a new midwife and she told me that she heard about the Thompson method. And I said, Oh, what's this? And so, and she had barely heard about it too. So we were kind of learning together and, it just seems so intuitive. Um, and I said, if this can work, this is going to change everything. Um, so with my son, my third born, we did it. He latched no pain, never any pain. And I'm like, is this because of the Thompson method or is it because I'm a third time mom? And I had to give it to the Thompson method because, you know, I was a second time mom. 
you know, and it still was the same issue. And so it, yeah, I can absolutely relate to that because my I, I have two breastfeeding experiences. My second is five months old. I was lucky to go well over the two years with my son, my firstborn, thanks to the Thompson method. And you do wonder because this time it went so smoothly. I think was I just lucky this time? But I mean, I could hands down tell you that my experiences were night or day. And I didn't find the Thompson method until much, much later with my son. Um, and although they the team helped me really, really overcome those challenges, I'll never get that that first th- those first few weeks. Like you said, eleven weeks of suffering. My my first experience was very similar. About eight weeks before I joined, and it was horrendous. The pain was excruciating. I as well um, was told that my son had a tongue tie, and I had the exact same thoughts as you. It ha- it cannot be this hard. The 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 different techniques they wanted me to hold my son backwards and upside down and you know mouth wide and point your nipple and your nose and it's just so overwhelming and everyone of course has something different to say don't they everyone has not only different horror stories but different advice different techniques different suggestions it is just it's just mind-blowing isn't it so I mean I'm really grateful for for the Thompson method this time around because it's not only as you know about breastfeeding but it's about the the moments and the decisions you make leading up to it so in your unique experience then you are now pregnant with twins so we know that the program helped you in your journey with number three but then you find out you're pregnant with twins and you hear about Pamela who is offering the beautiful breastfeeding program for those watching Pamela is is what a wonderful mother of six and three sets of twins and she has breastfed all of them so you can imagine Lana's excitement when she was connected with with um with Pamela who's not too far from you I do believe am I right there no, she's um. So I'm in Texas. Uh, she she's all. The way oh, I see. Okay, see, my my geography is terrible. <laughs> we're the team. That's why. <laughs> so you so you did the online sessions with Pamela then? Correct. While I was pregnant. Um, yeah. Initially, yes. Okay, so tell us tell us a little bit about your experience with Pamela, the beautiful breastfeeding program, and and why you decided to upgrade from the ordinary program to the unique package that Pamela offers as a Thompson Method educator now. Yeah. So I, so I was already um, just in love with the Thompson Method. I felt like I needed to tell everyone I was telling everyone about it. Um, And there's a lot of naysayers because there's a whole kind of community of midwives and doulas who have learned one way and they, they feel very passionate about it because they have helped people. And I'm sure it does help some people, but I was just, you know, I had heard about Pamela uh, while I was um, nursing my son, my third born. And I was like, wow, okay, scroll over because she's amazing, but obviously I don't have twins. <laughs> so once I realized I was pregnant with twins, I immediately was searched in the search bar, pregnant mom, you know, breastfeeding twins. And I saw her name again. And I said, yes, I need to like meet her somehow. Um, I need to glean her wisdom. Like I, I have to, I have to. Oh, you know, I love, I love that. As soon as you, you found out, you were like, bang, bang, bang. Um, Pamela, what's I, you? I wonder yeah. how many of of our women in our community hover over her posts and think, "Wow, that's amazing." Doesn't affect me. And then later on, yes, <laughs> I love so that. Excited. So, yeah. so you started the uh, beautiful breastfeeding program during pregnancy. Although I should imagine you were quite familiar. With a lot of the content I bet it was amazing to have that personalized guidance and I do believe there is midwife calls as well isn't there once baby arrives um I, I'm not sure about that I, I I do know that once I once I realized oh there's you know a way to do this with the Thompson method I started to think about logistics of like what I normally did mm-hmm. and then what how could I possibly do it with two it was just such a blind spot to me. And I couldn't, I couldn't think past the logistics, you know what I'm saying? So I can imagine to get the baby, you know, put them down pillow here. What, you know, what do you do differently? Um, Because, you know, with the, with the Thompson method, you're holding them and it's an alignment of just your arms, but with two, like, do you use a pillow is a pillow like you know oh, I can only imagine you had a thousand questions and now of course Pamela's wisdom has been passed on to you so <laughs> did you decide to tandem feed because I know for all three of um, Pamela's journeys I've spoken to her a lot about her journey she had different experiences with all three 
but her third set she actually's hand and fed so did you do that how did you decide to um to take on the twin breastfeeding journey yes well luckily my midwives are super supportive um so after I give birth to them um we were just on the bed and I got I, I bought a breastfeeding pillow a twin one before they were born because I knew you know what Pamela was saying like she's like just try you know you know try tandem feeding see how it goes it might be great to do it the first feed and so um the first feed I actually just had them like right here um and just kind of supported them because my my bed was able to come up um mm -hmm. but um after that I got the pillow right away and it was super helpful <laughs> um because you know your arms get tired I was exhausted um so it was <laughs> it was really good to have that I think your um, smile, I think your smile speaks volumes. I can only imagine on how special that first breastfeed of two babies was. It was absolutely incredible. I just couldn't believe how blessed I was. And you must have uh, felt, I mean, you must still feel pretty powerful, huh? You feel like super mama? I I feel so immensely blessed. It's just, it doesn't even feel fair. Um, I just don't deserve, I feel like I don't deserve this much blessing you know because it's oh, just there's you, you there's absolutely so do you are wonderful Lana <laughs> and you're making me you're making oh. me feel a bit teary because it's it's true um how how lucky we can feel but you deserve and and have very much the love that you deserve and you're giving and our babies are of similar age so Lana's twins are almost six months um still breastfeeding right Lana yeah yes definitely and so my little girl is, is is almost six months or so so it's not yeah. really been that long and you know how how fast it happens you have three older ones as well um correct me if I'm wrong um you have two three and five right yes so yeah, you have yeah. you have a busy life a busy home and and you are still breastfeeding so this is a reassuring message out there for anyone who chooses to or is considering um, to choose breastfeeding. Um, we can we can do it if we want to, right? <laughs> we can do it. Yeah. There, where, where there's a will, there's a way, and um, you know, it's. I think it's beautiful for the kids to see that you know I I prioritized them when they were born as well for their nutrition, and um, you know I I would love to be an example for them when they're choosing to be you know parents one day and remembering, you know, mom definitely carved out time because this was important and you know, it's their first start at life. And they, even though they're twins, they still deserve that first start to yeah, be that's beautiful. And, and actually that is a really important message to pass on um, to generations. Dr. Robin always talks about um, that how they, being a family is a big role for everyone. Everyone can get involved. And um, I think that's something she always supported and helped me with. Um, she supported us in our decision to have our son here with our home birth as well. So I think that being a part of a community like the Thompson Method and yourself have a very, very supportive family. It just it makes it such a big difference, doesn't it? So yes. tell me then, you've you've spoken about your experience with the Thompson Method. Um, you've spoken about your experience with Pamela and the Beautiful Breastfeeding Program. Um, tell me, have you did you feel prepared, fully prepared to breastfeed your twins and supported before they arrived? And that yes, yes, the short answer, yes. Um going into it, I had so much fear, um, that I couldn't do it. You know, we had just moved, um, from another wow. state. Um, and so I said, you know, let's just establish care once we're there. Um, so that's why I waited so long to find out, you know, for my, um, anatomical ultrasound as well. And so I just like, let's wait, let's wait. And so once we got here, I just was like overwhelmed with, you know, DMV, insurance all the all the stuff when you move is over overwhelming as in and of itself and then after this I was just shell-shocked you know I just could not pick up my jaw just, <laughs> and of course at the time you had a one and a half year old at home yes. and and at the time you would have had a two-year-old and then a four-year-old I'm guessing right yes and I was wow. I was uh, I was still breastfeeding my 18 month old when mm -hmm. I found out Twins. And so we just gently weaned him off just because I felt like I was so depleted. Um, mm. Wow. So your, just, you were, your body was busy growing yeah. two humans <laughs> to surprise yeah. you with. <laughs> it's yeah, so, so wonderful that although you felt understandably very overwhelmed and probably a little bit nervous um, and anxious about 
that impending journey. It's really lovely that once you started diving into the education, and I'm sure speaking with Pamela was really reassuring as well. Um, it's yeah. nice that you felt, actually, I can do this. You felt that boost of confidence. You were ready as, as much as you can be, of course. And then you were able to reach out for support, I assume, once once the babies had arrived as well. Yeah, I mean, I remember just even having nights of just scrolling on the internet, searching for like all there is to know about twins. I just wanted to prepare. I'm that kind of person is I have to research, research like everything, which probably is not the best, but <laughs> I just who I am. Um, and I and I just kept wanting to, well, first of all, I was, I was um, not even sure if I was going to do a home birth or not um, with the twins. Did so you? did you decide to? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you did. I did. Oh, I didn't know that. Excuse my excitement. I'm a big oh. <laughs> advocate of the home birth. Congratulations. That's, that's really awesome. Thank you so much. I was, I, you know, I wasn't trying to be a hero um, and do something that was dangerous or, you know, whatever. I can relate and, to that. Yeah. And I, um, I know in my previous state, it was illegal. So mm, interesting. Um, and it is illegal as well, um, which is pretty ridiculous in my opinion. But um, I, I was just kind of, you know, I want to do what's best, not only for my twins, but I have other children too who need me. And, you know, I was just wanting to be sa as safe as possible. But the more I read about it, you know, I'm a very healthy person, thank God. And I um, was eating healthy and g the twins were gaining weight. Great, you know, so. Yeah, I mean, was um, for those that are watching and, and are thinking, wow, that's, you know, risky. We appreciate that there are views out there. And you might have even been told that home birth, uh, especially with twins, is risky. But research so it's very fresh research research has shown that if you are healthy which is what Lana is is saying if you're healthy then actually you are just as safe if not safer to birth right. your baby or babies at home so what what a big decision to make as well I'm glad you had the support to do that yeah and another thing too is it, de it definitely depends on what kind of twins you have I had the perfect setup um, as far as a home birth goes. So I had die, die twins. So th they were die chorionic, die, die, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> die, well, I, I forgot. wouldn't even know if you'd gotten that wrong. I am lacking knowledge <laughs> on that one. <laughs> well, they have their own placentas and their own sacs. So they, it was basically my, my midwife was saying, you know, it's kind of like you're pregnant. If you look in the mirror, it's two pregnant Lanas. <laughs> so you're, you're That's just very interesting it's just two separate births and there can be complications, especially after the first one is born more commonly, um, for heart rates to drop and all that. But the midwives are so trained in the, in the, um, kind of little details of birth through experience, through, um, just education that a lot of OBs are not educated in. So yeah. And I, I, I know that Dr. Robin is going to absolutely love watching this because you're absolutely right. They're passionate about birth. Their yeah. role is to be with women. That's what midwife means. And they can pick up on those little details that an obstetrician who's trained mm -hmm. for surgery, for medicalized birth, wouldn't be able to pick up on. And it's interesting that you say that it was like two separate lines giving birth, two separate yeah. centers. So mm -hmm. um, t tell me a little bit about, about afterwards. You, you were supported through uh, birth and center holding your baby to talk about that moment where you held them in your arms and you're at home as well so so tell me yeah. about how you felt supported um not only from your midwife care but with the community um that you have around you and then Pamela at the end of the phone I mean did, did it even enter your mind like wow I've got this how are you feeling well you know I I just felt so supported by Pamela especially because everyone else I talked to you know they they were saying things that they have heard, you know, like, oh, I've heard this about twins. I've heard that. Well, she's been through it three times. Mm -hmm. And it's like that kind of information you cannot get from anywhere else, really. I mean, she's very unique in that way. And not only that, she's incredibly encouraging and a calm sense of just like encouragement that I, that I particularly needed um, to where it made sense that she was, um, you know, when, when she was confident in me, it made sense because she wasn't just confident in information um, that she had went to school for. It was, it was confidence where been there, done that three times, 
<laughs> and it was just, you know, very unique information that she could give me. And I was able to like, just fully say all of my worries and she was fully able to answer all of my questions. Oh, and gosh, yeah, she just knows, of course she does, but she knows so much about, like you said, she's had three sets of twins. There isn't anything that could, that anyone could ask that she wouldn't be able to answer in, in, in that, in that sense. And <laughs> so where do you think that you would be right now with your twin, beautiful twin babies and your large family, if you hadn't discovered the Thompson method a couple of years ago, and if you hadn't had the opportunity to connect with Pamela? Honestly, I think my whole trajectory would be different. Um, every birth, I think I would have been dreading breastfeeding because it was so painful. Um, it was excruciating. I remember like pinching my arm to get through a letdown, you know, just really just focusing and crying and just hating postpartum, absolutely hating it. And although postpartum is always difficult, um, you see the light at the end of the tunnel um, and you're, it doesn't, you know, kind of overwhelm your brain. You know, you, you know, and it that just goes so quickly anyway, doesn't it? And you know that that period is, is going to fade out. That's such a good point. And we need to highlight that more. We don't talk about postpartum enough. And for those that are watching that may be thinking, I'm going to wait, I'm going to see, I'm going to see where I'm at when baby comes. My advice to you is, is don't just give yourself as much preparation as you can now and arm yourself as, with as much knowledge. Look how, how Lana was able to make so many informed decisions, of course, because you were an avid researcher as well. But because you you have that connection made already and you didn't leave it to chance, you're already so overwhelmed. You have a new baby or new babies. Um, just being able to quickly make a click, quick message to Pamela, I should imagine, was so much easier than being out having to set everything up from the beginning. Right. And I actually just, just through my experience of, remembering, you know, your, your brain is like scrambled eggs, you know, mm -hmm. after baby's born, it still is. And, um, you know, just knowing beforehand, like, I'm not going to be able to like, even formulate questions really like the, the way I want to before the baby's born. So if I could encourage anyone, you know, do as much research as you can, um, set up, you know, a pen and a paper and just kind of unload your brain onto a piece of paper um, and have those questions ready and answer all your questions before your baby is born. And so that when you do go into birth, you don't get panicky, you don't get anxiety, you know that there is a place to turn to have that advocate that is essential for getting through it, especially if you don't have friends and family who are supportive. Um, you know, friends and family can support you and they can be amazing like mine are. Um, but they still haven't been through what I've been through, you know? And so, um, just having that was just so essential to my success. I wish, I wish I would have known about the Thompson method before my first was born. I would save myself so many tears, you know? Yeah. And I think now that we both know what it's like to enjoy breastfeeding from, from the get go, I, um, although I'm yeah. sure there was bumps in the road for you as well as there have been for me. It just makes it so much easier, such less hassle. Um, and you can enjoy the smaller moments. I don't think I can really give many really lovely breastfeeding moments anyway from the first eight weeks with my son because of that. And it is, right. it is a little bit sad, isn't it? But my hat is taken off to any woman that has um, had to end their best breastfeeding journey before they wanted yeah. to, um, because pain is the number one re reason in Dr. Robin's research where so many women are having to end their journeys, as well as a, a mul multitude of reasons. But um, mm -hmm. please do not do not think you have failed. You have done an amazing job and um, do reach out because we are here to support you on your next journey. Yes. So Lana, I mean, I have I have a million questions I'd love to ask you, but of course we don't want to we don't want to go into too much detail and take any more of our lovely viewers' time. And I think I think you have shared a perfect amount to 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 help us understand how amazing how amazing the Thompson method is. So thank you. And and did you want to say anything else to any of the lovely mums or families watching? Yeah, I would just like to say to twin moms, you know, going into this your brain is just so overwhelmed with the prospect of having twins and can I even do it? You know, how much help will I need? I'm so overwhelmed. I don't know where to turn. And this has been the most 
encouraging. I'm going to cry. <laughs> this has been the most encouraging thing that I could have ever, you know, Pamela has been like the cornerstone of how this has bloomed, you know, my whole breastfeeding journey with my twins. And if I didn't have this, um, it would have been, I, I think I would have been able to do it, but I would have struggled so much more. And I think she saved me so many painful nights. And I know mom's watching and know what I'm talking about of just complete and utter frustration just to your breaking point. And she saved me so many of those nights. And, um, I just can't thank her enough. She's been so essential to my success. So, And I'm sure she will very modestly say that it was no big deal as well, <laughs> as, as I know she has done in the past. Um, but thank you. Thank you. Because it's yeah. always nice for our team to have that bit of appreciation. But I agree yeah. that the, the team, the, the team behind the Thompson Method, they are doing wonderful things every day. And it's because of this. It's because of women like you who are absolutely smashing it. Um, in motherhood and um, a huge congratulations to you because you really are I mean you're you're talking about appreciating the beautiful small moments but flip reverse that and just see that those beautiful babies of yours are, are very lucky too so you know great job Mama. well done and, uh, and happy Mother's Day for tomorrow to you Lana you so and to everyone else around the world apart from us in the UK um, <laughs> happy Mother's Day to everyone and um, thank you for being awesome. And thank you so much, Lana. What a beautiful lady you are and what a beautiful story you have. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Whew.